Hello guys, my name is Sang Zilong. We're in 2015, so I want to use this opportunity to wish you an amazing new year. 2015 is going to be the blessed and most amazing year you've ever experienced. Well, I'm not here to talk about 2015. I'm here to talk about something I entitled Them Bush Fallers. If you're a non-Cameroonian watching this video, I would, I would define the word bush faller to you. A bush faller describes a Cameroonian who lives abroad and maybe comes home on vacation or for break or for whatever reason. Well, and most of the time, these bush fallers come home in December, yeah, to come and spend the holidays with their families and loved ones. And sometimes to have fun and relax because as far as we know, most of uh, the bush fallers abroad work so hard, sometimes three shifts, juggling with school, they barely have time for themselves. So when they have the opportunity to come home on break, they want to rest, catch fun as much as they can. But then, this is the core of the matter. Before, before December, let's say in November, when they know they have to come home soon, they go on social media, be it Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and start scouting for girls. Yeah, they scout for girls. They might just go through your profile and maybe look at you. If you have good pictures, you look pretty and stuff, and they start sending messages. Hello, I've gone through your profile. You look so beautiful. Please, can we be friends? And normally, a girl will just see, like, Hamlet. She'll be like, OK, fine. And then they become friends and blah, blah, blah. And he'll be like, OK, I'll be coming home in December. When I come, I would like to meet you. Maybe we'll, we'll spend some time, at least just to meet the person I've been talking to. And there it goes. And trust me, this same message, they're going to send it to, like, 10 different girls, hoping that among these 10 girls, they can, maybe they can have, like, five with whom they can have fun with when they come home. And trust me, most of these boys or men are married or some of them are in very committed relationships. But trust me, as soon as they land at the airport in Cameroon, they become officially single. Dear bush followers, like, do you have to disown your wife or committed girlfriend just because you want to come and catch fun at home? Well, that's OK, your business. I don't care. I'm just saying what I have to say. And then when they come home, yeah, most of these girls will make demands. Bring me iPhone 15, bring me Brazilian hair, 25 inches, blah, blah, blah. And they will gladly bring because they know what they want to gain at the end of the day. And when they come home, have fun with these girls, blah, 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 then go back, uh, go back to their various countries. Then they will meet their friends who couldn't come home for one reason or the other, and they'll be like, oh, boy. If you want to go home next year, you need some girls to catch fun with, go to this Facebook profile, this person, this person. Those are cheap girls. You can easily have your way with them. That's what they do, sincerely. And then it doesn't even end there. I understand that you guys go through a lot, and some of you don't, you bush flowers don't even want to come home in December because as soon as you tell your relatives, oh, I'm coming home in December, they start writing long paragraphs and books of demands. So most of you guys just sneak into the country and sneak out. And some of them even have to lie. Like, when they come home, I know not all of you have the means. Some of you really work hard, and, and you guys only have tight incomes. So when they come home and, um, they bring nothing. People will be like, ah, grand friend, how you land so no? be not, Nothing for the boys, nothing for the boys. They'll be like, oh, my container is going to land on the 15th of January, so there'll be stuff for you guys. But trust me, on the 10th of January, they are gone. They just wanted to feel big, you know, grand friend has landed and stuff and stuff. But this is my problem, bush fallers. You don't have to come home and be so reckless and maybe soil your personality just because you want to catch fun. You don't have to remove your wedding ring at the airport. You don't have to lie that you are not married just because you want to have fun with some girls around. And also, dear girls, come on. We are better than that. Yeah, they don't, always, they don't always have to have this idea that when they come home, that girls are so excited about bush fallers. That's what they think. When they just hear that guy is a bush faller, you see the girls start shaking. Come on, we can do better. We can really do better. So dear Bush followers, we love you. We understand that you guys work so hard out there. But please, you can be more responsible. Stop making people feel like Bush, bush followers are reckless individuals. And most of these guys are even very, very big grand friends, like 47 years old. When they come, they start, they start like, doing nonsense. You can do better. So you bush fellas, um, sorry if you're getting offended. No, I didn't call anybody's name. So if you are guilty, you can start throwing the rage and the comments. I'm ready for them. I'm very ready. Well, it's a new year. I'm having fun. Well, um, you can get to me on social media by 
just searching Sang the Long on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. Till we meet next time, keep being good for the bush followers who are waiting for you in 2016. Remain blessed. Till next time, I am in Sang the Long. Bye bye. That's, uh, so